All right, everyone, we start off today with funny news, which is that Bernie Sanders is open to considering a third failed White House bid, assuming that Biden decides not to run, which means that one shark is already in the water. Um, I think that he should give um, uh, thought to the concept. I actually support it, and I'll tell you why. Every penny that's raised by grifting socialist hack Bernie Sanders, who has accomplished nothing, is not viable as a presidential candidate. Every penny that he gets is a, in the primaries is a penny that he will squirrel away and squander and maybe buy a fourth house and it won't be going to whoever the inevitable neoliberal democratic candidate is in the general election since they've become the party of big corporate money they don't really need the grassroots money anyway uh, and it's it's nice because then you can draw a contrast between the democrats where the only ones that actually have grassroots support are the far left but the Democrats have effectively spent decades telling them they'll give them all of these socialist programs and then not doing any of them, like hmm, student loan debt forgiveness, UBI, the, the green energy bullshit. I love it when Biden comes out the other day and says, well, we're going to work towards making all the U.S. military equipment environmentally friendly. We're going to save the world from climate change while we bomb people. The optics, the messaging of this administration is off the wall. It's off the If Trump had messaging problems at times, my goodness, Biden's already eclipsed him. It's like you, you can't, there's one advantage to having Biden as president, which is that he will say weird shit nonstop. I suspect Biden won't run, um, and and that age will be injected as an issue into the campaign, partially if if Sanders runs to keep him out as well as the Dem candidate. Well, you know, Biden steps aside and he gives an interview, and I've talked about this. He, he'll be goaded on to give an interview where he says effectively, well, I just felt like we have to pass the torch. It's time for someone who's under 65 to be the president because we haven't had that in a while. I suspect that that will be a line that they'll feed him. He'll get paid a huge amount of money. He'll get his 10%. You know, Hunter will, will arrange that with the DNC illegally, and we'll find out about it five years later. Um, and that would stop Trump, possibly, uh, because, you know, he's the same, he'd be the same age as Biden was in the prior race. Hillary gets cock-blocked. She's the same age as Trump. Sanders is older than Biden, so it'd be really funny. But I do support this because, I mean, exposing the left as gullible morons who are willing to give huge amounts of money, they'll sign their paycheck over to Bernie and find out there's no refunds when he inevitably drops out, which he will. Then he endorses the neoliberal, who will be a carefully groomed, astroturfed, younger liberal, probably. It could be Kamala, but maybe not. She's less likable than Biden. Uh, against Trump, she wouldn't stand a chance, even with age on the table as an issue. Anyway, before I go into this, and link in the description archived, of course, you can see his, his comments for themselves. <laughs> it was reported on fairly widely, because people are incredulous about the concept of Bernie Sanders losing again. They can't understand that it's a cash grab at this point. He knows he wouldn't win. Um, his fans are stupid and, and declining in number. A lot of them think that he's too old, white, and male at this point, and they, they prefer, they want AOC to run or some crazy shit like that. Keep in mind, down below, if you're watching this video on YouTube, there will be a pinned comment with links to other video hosting sites that I use. Keep in mind that I make exclusive material every day on those platforms that does not go on YouTube. There will be a book update today. It did get processed properly by Amazon, uh, a new theosophical work. Only two more to go till edition 400. So I'm very excited. That's coming down the pipeline probably before May. Um, maybe I'll terminate it on May Day. Pagan celebration time. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Bernie Sanders, as a Vermonter, um, I recognize Bernie Sanders for what he is. He is the village idiot who was in the right place at the right time. He goes off to get his socialist education in New York, actually. He comes to Vermont, as many out-of-staters have, to make their fortune with wonky political ideas, because he didn't want to have to work, so he ends up running for mayor of Burlington after being kicked out of a commune and failing at several private endeavors. He does a little bit of educating, if you can call it that, and basically I think that was just a springboard. Burlington was hippying it up at the time when he ran. He wins as mayor. He flips that over into a successful legislative career. In that period of time, he has done virtually nothing. He is perennially trotted out by the Democrats to get leftoids to vote for the Democratic Party, when inevitably he's either not there and he's just in the legislative role as a proxy, he goes to the far blue states to drum up support, especially Vermont, New Hampshire to an extent, 
uh, and so forth, although that's less effective now <laughs> in, in the age of the free state movement, which is rapidly gobbling up the, the underrungs of the Republican Party in New Hampshire, by the way. And they're gaining legislative power on the local level as a springboard to state control, which is good. It'd be good to have one state that's actually got a functioning libertarian concept. When the state ends up becoming the most wealthy and free state in the Union, um, it will be quite interesting. But Bernie Sanders, those of us who are more cerebral and from Vermont understand that he's not there to do anything. He's there to be the ice cream man. He is effectively a meme politician. The left is constantly promised things by the Democratic Party. They are delivered a tiny proportion of what they ask for. You'll look at, at, for instance, the infrastructure bill, which the leftoids in the House ended up voting against. Initially, it was laden down with a trillion dollars of bullshit about climate change from AOC, cow farts, and, and banning transatlantic travel and all of these things. Virtually all of that got parsed out of it because it was impossible to even get it past several of the Dem senators without doing so. Which is, which is good. And those senators represent you know, parts of the country that are not reliably blue, and Biden and the other Democrats aren't crazy like Bernie Sanders is. He, at this point, though, I think is no longer even an ideological leftist. This is basically his retirement fund. If he runs again, it's basically, hey, this is more cash for my kids and my grandkids. <laughs> That'll be what it's about. It'll be millions of dollars that he will quasi-legally embezzle, from his stupid fans, and they will deserve to have that money taken from them because they're not going to use it on anything uh, useful. They're going to use it on avocado toast and kale smoothies and Starbucks and Apple products and shit. They'll be giving it to China or they'll be spending it on hippy-dippy meme stuff that's supposedly health food and, and really, you know, they'll drain their trust fund paying for it. I hope they do that because otherwise, if there's no solid leftoid candidate with any name recognition in the primaries, They'll still have some of that money probably for in the general election, and they'll end up giving it to a neoliberal who, again, will make them big promises and then under-deliver. You're not going to hear Biden push my student loan debt forgiveness. He's just kicking the can right now and creating the mother of all loan bubbles, effectively, by putting off repayment of all of that debt, which is still accruing over time. People are going to college, getting loans, but they're not paying anything on them. They're all in automatic forbearance with the government covering the interest, effectively. Um, <laughs> this is a ticking time bomb that eventually will blow up in our faces. If there was a student loan debt crisis years ago, and there was, in all honesty, I don't, I don't deny that, the leftoids are technically right, we've made it worse with, with lockdownerism. For two years now, people not paying a cent in while taking more and more loans out. You get more people entering college, returning for classes, although for a while there it was <laughs> touch and go as to whether colleges were operational. It's a big problem. Um, you're not going to see any solution from Biden. He would rather hold it over people's heads. Does Bernie Sanders ever say much about this? No, this is more Elizabeth Warren's grifting issue. I wouldn't be surprised, by the way, if she mounts another run. Technically, she'd be on the upper tier of viability, other than maybe the age question, if she does. Bloomberg may mount another ill-fated run. I, I don't think so at this point, though. If, by, if Bernie runs, um, it'll be a joke. It'll be a joke candidacy. If he did win, if he became the mainline candidate, the Democrats would lose in a landslide anyway. So you're not going to get a socialist president. To be clear, the U.S. is moving in the other direction right now. And Bernie Sanders kind of hype, uh, it doesn't work, especially since an old white dude can't really do the id poll thing as well. Maybe Kamala could do it. She could run on a far left platform. But again, she's not. She's a police state war pig, just like the rest of them. She's like a, a darker colored Hillary Clinton, basically, which is why she was chosen as VP. To be clear, that was for diversity on a ticket that was headed by an old white dude. Bernie's even older and crazier. Biden's crazy in the sense of being incoherent. Bernie Sanders is several years older. He could fall prey to that at any time in the next few years, too. But I do hope that he runs. It would be funny to see him fail. It would be funny to see his moron fans give the grifter tens of millions of dollars that they won't get a refund on when he drops out. And I will laugh. I will laugh at the supposedly anti-SJW left sell out and tell their fans to pony it up for Bernie once again. It'll be funny to see them disappointed because leftoids deserve to lose. That's about all. Peace out.